Hey guys, it's Monica. I want to quickly share with you some of the items I brought on our recent trip to Maine. As many of you know, Jay and I take an annual vacation every August and we usually go up to the coast of Maine in our motorhome. Well, this year, our motorhome got into a little bit of an accident and it's actually been in the repair shop since June. So we held out hope until the very last moment that it would be done in time for us to take our annual 10 day trip. Sadly, it wasn't. So we ended up booking at the very last moment a motel. And if you have traveled at all, you know that when you wait till the last moment, you either are going to luck out with the cancellation or you're not going to get what you want. We did not get what we wanted, but we did book a motel room and we did head up the coast of Maine and we had a fabulous long weekend. So some of the things that I brought, I'm just gonna share with you because I think part of anti-aging and good skincare and anything like that. I mean, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, you know, how do you stay young? How do you do anti-aging and all that stuff? And I really don't think it's something you necessarily do, but I think a lot of it is in your attitude. And sometimes if you think young, act young, you might look younger. I'm 65. I don't feel 65. It's a shock to me to think that I'm 65, but I'm 65. So for me, attitude's a big, a big thing. And as I've said to, in many of my videos, it was very late on the skincare game. However, once I started with skincare, I am extremely, extremely consistent and always have been. So when I get into a routine, if something works for me, I'm very slow to change my routine because I really, really believe, you know, some things work perfectly, why change them? I'm always open for new ideas and new suggestions, but I'm, I'm also very much a creature of habit. And with that creature of habit means consistency. So when I went away, this was my skincare, sort of my skincare bag. I, um, I have a little bag that I take with me. I call this my Holy Grail bag, which I will describe to you what's in it in a little bit. But my Holy Grail bag always goes with me. In this bag, I have my shampoos, and so I have some trial size of the, you know, the uh, new, all nutrients. I don't have it with me, but they're like little three ounce bottles that you would take on an airplane. So I have the shampoo, I have the conditioner, I also have the sculpting gel. So I have the three of those wrapped in plastic and they stay in here, typically for when I travel. And then I also bring with me, just like everyone else does, you have your shaving cream, you have your razors, you have your Q-tips, you have all those essentials. But what I brought with me this trip and what I normally will bring with me is I have decanted my CeraVe face cleanser and I put it in a smaller tube. This needs to be refilled. So this is something I use to wash my face. But before I do that, I might rinse my face. I might get my face wet. But if I have a lot of makeup built up or um, especially, you know, in the summertime, I mean, sunblock, 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 sunblock. I'm extremely consistent. And 99% of the time when I start my day after I've done my serums and my skincare, I put sunblock on. And I've been using the Australian Gold Mineral 50 SPF sunblock. And I put that all over my, I take a generous size, put it all over my face, my neck, my chest, my ears, the back of my neck down my chest and I let that dry and then I will start my makeup even even when I use a makeup with a sunblock in it. I never rely just on the makeup or the foundation with the sunblock. So normally I take the end of the day, it takes a lot to get that off because I have so much on. I normally will, will wet my face really good and I will go in with something like this. This is the Clean It Zero. This is what I brought with me. I really, really like this. This sort of melts off all those layers of sunblock, foundation, you name it. It melts it off, including my mascara. Then I rinse in nice hot water and I wash that off. My second cleanse is going to be my CeraVe. I'm going with my CeraVe. I wash up really nice. This, this is the Flor Florio Mini Dupe that I use. It is a Halle Care. I think it's like $13. I brought this 
to wash with. I really, really like that. So first, my second wash is my CeraVe. I used this while I was away. I could have brought my Radiant Spinner that you've seen me use. I really like that with the brush, but I didn't this time. It's just a little bit bigger, and I was really looking to try to pack as much as I could into a smaller bag for myself. So I also brought with me my Nip and Fab. I really like these glycolic pads, so I would make sure that I use my glycolic pads at night, especially if I need it. The other thing that I had in this bag is my uh, my spatula. I probably won't bring this with me on my next trip. I have an upcoming trip that requires a flight, an airline flight. I think this might trigger maybe a searching my bag, but this is my LaBelle spatula. I think especially in the summertime, it is more important than ever to make sure you really empty out your pores because if your skin is anything like mine, when you use all that sunblock on your skin, it builds up and builds up and builds up. It is like gunk city. So it's all the more important for me to make sure I've cleaned out my pores. And that's what I normally do. So these were the things that were packed with me. My CeraVe, my Clean and Zero, my Foreo Mini Dupe, my spatula, my Nip and Fab, and that's basically what I use to clean my skin with. Well, if I felt like I really needed to tone after all that, what I carried with me was a small bottle of the Pixie Vitamin C Tonic. This is sort of like what I was using as a toner. I really like this. I like a lot of the Pixie products. I got sent a number of them in the PR, in PR recently, and I really like this. I love how it smells too. So I would use that. The two towelettes, packages of towelettes. I have a small one that I got from Ulta that fits perfectly in the bag that I carry with me, just a package of the Ulta Towelettes Facial Cleanser. And I also carry the Members Mark. This is usually thicker. I use this the most. I mean, there's still a few in here, but I went through a lot of them. I love using these towelettes on my face. Anyways, just when you're traveling, as I said, I think consistency is key. So trying to stay in a routine, is so super important and this trip Jay and I we did like I said very much the last moment we found a place to stay but we actually we had such an active vacation not only was our motel room a hike up the stairs but we went to visit lighthouses we hiked we walked in the woods we explored we even went to Canada for a day so we had we just had a great time we jam-packed a lot of stuff in a short period of time but that's typically how we go how we go when we go on vacation we're always trying to do something to stay super super active so making sure I had my sunblock making sure I had good skincare with me made all the difference in the world to me I also packed you know your typical hairsprays and you know stuff to to groom your hair and most of the time when I was away though I just wore my hair up in a bun I really did sometimes I clipped on a fake bun piece I brought three of them with me in my little fake fake bun bag, <laughs> little bag for fake buns, and I brought three of them with me, and sometimes I just put my own hair up in one of those claw clips and left it that way, and that worked out really, really well for me. I think everything that I shared with you is probably, you probably do much the same thing when you go away. Trial size, little tiny size bottles of my hairspray that I brought. I did bring, the only thing that I did bring that was big, <laughs> was this, and that's only because I don't have a trial size of the Helium Fiber Flex. This is my, <laughs> I spray this on, this is my texturizing spray. Oh my God, does it do a great job. The other things I brought were just like samples, you know, dry shampoo, get this in Walmart. This is not your mother's bodybuilding dry shampoo. I really like this, and I got this Kenra volumi volumizing spray, and this is a volumizing spray, and then I have a little bottle of just regular, uh, sobs that I decanted, I'll just show you, that I decanted into a small spray bottle that I brought with me. And then because I'm not really um, sun tanning, my legs are pale, I just brought the Sally Hansen airbrush legs. And it washes off, you know, I've not had a problem with it rubbing off, but that's just me. So I put this all over my legs, so when I'm wearing, you know, pedal pushes, do they still call them pedal pushes? Do you know what I mean when I say pedal pushers? 
I don't know, they may not be called pedal pushers anymore. Um, and I don't think they're called culottes, but they're like capris. They're, they go below your knee, you know, type of thing. At least then the bottom parts of my legs can look halfway decent. <laughs> so that's really what I brought. I'm going to insert the clip here to show you my makeup that I brought. And then a little bit more detail what's in my holy grail bag. But for my serums, which I'm not showing you here, I brought my Timeless Vitamin C, I bought my Timeless Matrixel, and I bought my CBD oil. That's all I brought with me for serums and oils. And um, that was it. That was it. I guess I kind of travel light in that sense. So we had a great few days. Hectic but a great few days. I just think we needed that. We needed to get away. We've been so stressed out about the motorhome and work and everything else. We needed to take the time just to get away and recharge. <laughs> Even though now I need a vacation from uh, three days of running, running, running. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support. Stay tuned for what's inside my makeup bag next. So Jane, I just returned from our weekend away and I thought before I unpacked all this, I would show you what I brought for makeup. And this is a makeup case. Uh, actually, Marlene Fab and Glam uses the same one, I think just a different color. And to me, this holds just my makeup you know, that I'm going to use. And it's only going to hold a small amount. <laughs> Does that make sense? Jay goes crazy. I've got a couple of lipsticks. I have, isn't that cute? I have um, concealer. And this is my Touch Up My Gray Fill-In Powder. I really, really like this stuff. There's two shades of it. And I'm gonna open it up and try. So get the lighter and the darker you can see of hit pan so this is really good stuff and then over here and these are all adjustables which I really like so you can adjust it to whatever size you want over here I have my setting spray and yeah you know I mean with setting sprays this does have alcohol in it but I believe because I'm putting it on top of my makeup on top of everything that it isn't going to affect my skin in any kind of a negative way and then here at my my brow this is the the um the blink magic wand i really really like this is awesome this was sent to me initially for review and it's something i really like a lot then i also have in my this is my it cosmetic brow power i absolutely love that so those are the two that i brought with me this is the It Cosmetics. This is a sample of the Hello Lashes. I've got this quite a while ago. I use this just on my lower lashes, no place else. My mascara that I brought and my primer. You can see they're well used. This is my Essence Primer and my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, the black and purple tube. And then this is something I very rarely talk about. This is a sugar scrub from Pure P-U-R. I actually really like this a lot. I, I think this is the best lip sugar scrub for me. I like it a, a lot. Then I carry a tweezer, just in case. And then I have a couple of stubs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really trying to utilize these pencils. These are, And the ones that I packed were all the Urban Decay because they're, to me, they're my no-fail pencils, whether I'm going to do it in my waterline or anywhere else, they're my no-fail. So I packed that. And then for my, down in the front here, of course, I have Q-tips. Who doesn't, right? I have a couple of primers. Let me get rid of this sponge. I have a couple of primers in here. The one that I use the most is the CYO. Whoops. Of course, that's the one that's being discontinued. I like this a lot. This is an awesome primer for me. I also have the Too Faced, I think. I want to say I got this from Marlene Fab and Glam, or I think it might have been Sheila, Life with Lily. I can't remember now. And I also have the Benefit Pour. I like this one a lot too. So those are my three primers that I will use. And then for the foundation that I packed, I did my Estee Lauder. Double wear, and this is in the color Pebble. 
and I took the Shiseido. This is the BB Sport 50 Plus Broad Spectrum, and this is in medium. So I brought that with me for foundation and a little bit of a sunblock. I just, you know, I, I still, even though I have these, I still always start with sunblock on my skin. So this is just makeup, but I have sunblock that I'm going to be putting on. And most of the time it's the Australian Gold 50 SPF. And so over here, I have, and this is the Mali Pore Defender. This is, oh my gosh, this is like so old. It's all, it's almost empty. I like it. I bring it in case I'm shining. And this is my Avon. This is my my blush that I always wear. I still also carry this butter bronzer. This is an old one. I'm trying to use it up. Butter bronzer. This is the color light. And then I have my Essence. This is Pure Nude Space Lighter. I have a love-hate relationship with this. You have to be very, very careful. You put it on too much, you're going to be lighting up the night sky. My favorite, favorite, favorite Brighten Up uh, Banana Powder. I like this. I wear this every single day. Very rarely talk about it. It is so well used. I've broken the plastic thing. I have to have it held together with a little little band-aid, little band-aid, little rubber band. And this was something, oh my gosh, this is really old. I use this more as a blush than um, than any kind of a bronzer, although this is Maui Nights. I have to go very, very light on this. Let me open it up for you. I have to go very, very light on this because it is such a dark color for me, but I use it more as a blush than a bronzer. So that's what I have there. And let me move this other stuff out of the way in case I need it. I have a little bit of the Age Rewind. I very rarely use it, but it is in here. These I absolutely love. This is the YSL. One is their concealer and one is their highlighter. I love these very, very sparingly. Am I going to be using these? But oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. And then I have my Essence Color Correctors. Very well used, very well loved. And this time around, I brought my CYO Color 107 and 106 that I mixed together for my perfect shade. So those were the foundations that I wore most of the time. This was for if I really wanted some super duper coverage. And this is pretty well what I pack, except for here. My brushes, I, I think I have my little bit of a contour in here. Um, yeah, they're all falling out because of the way I did it. But as you can see, some of the things that I carry in here. And then in this little zipper compartment, I have two, my basically, you know, we went away for the weekend. I brought my Huda palette. I really like this. This was a gift from Sheila, Life with Lily. This is the Mauve Obsession. And then in here I have, now, I have a Z palette that is the large one that I have most of my palettes in, but this is a smaller case and it doesn't really fit in there really comfortably. So I have a smaller Z palette and what I did is I took out my Viseart Amethyst and this came, um, this was one of the Viseart Dark ones. I can't remember which one it was. I think I got that as a, birth a birthday gift for... Um, uh, that one from Marlene, Fab and Glam. So I just put the ones that I use the most out of that palette in here, including Creme Brulee. This is my favorite all over shade. So that's what I carry in here. My brushes, all of that wonderful stuff. And then in here, this is what I carry with me because this is not my skincare as far as washing, but as so you can see some of the other stuff that I carry my CBD oil. I have my my pure caffeine cream. I have an eye cream from Dirty Works. I have my Retin-A. Whoops. I have all my Retin-A in here. I probably didn't need to carry all this much Retin-A with me, but I did. <laughs> so I just didn't take it out of here. And these are my Luma, uh, Lumify eye drops. And also in here, I have my Blink Lash. Uh, in here somewhere, I have my Blink Lash. Yeah, here it is. So, that's my Retin-A stash. That's my, you know, 
my uh, holy grail stuff for my eyelashes, my eyes, you name it, that's in here. And then also I have, this is the cosmetic case that I just carry in my pocketbook. In here I have probably a little bit of overkill on foundation. I have the uh, Double Wear Nude, this is the Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. I really like this, this is a little bit lighter than my other, but it's the same shade, I really like it a lot. I also have, if I need a heavier cover stick, I have this one from L'Oreal. I'm not a fan, but I have it. And then I have this for, and this stuff I love, this is for the uh, touch-up for the sunblock. And this is a 50 SPF. This stuff is awesome. It's cushion foundation with 50 SPF. And then concealer, just in case. Again, this is the stuff that lives in my pocketbook. So, my lip balm, my lipstick. I, I love this nude. I have the L'Oreal Katie. This is the number 45. And I also have in here, because I've been into the pinks, so I have 665 Lust for Blush. This is a Maybelline pink lipstick. I really like it. And then I have one of my Buxoms that I love for my gloss. I have a couple, I carry a couple of extra brushes. Only because if I look at myself and I see my eyes, my eyeshadows are not, you know, blended nicely. When you look in a car mirror, they always look a little different. Then I can just pull out a brush. This is the sample size of my Estee Lauder that I keep in here. And I usually do this just for touch-up during the day. I love this. I just sprinkle it on for touch-up. So that's pretty well what's in my makeup bag <laughs> and in my makeup cosmetic bag. Um, because we went away, this is all the stuff that I carried. Poor Jay.